you so much for coming on the show. Um, tell us, is there enough evidence for the UN Secretary General to take this forward? Well, I think uh, there is. Uh, they produced the, the committee, the uh, OPCW uh, IIL, uh, has produced a document, 82 pages, balanced, objective, uh, scientifically researched, well documented, with witnesses, with evidence, for the first time to uh, lay responsibility on perpetrators. And the uh, report committee named the perpetrators. The perpetrators are those Sukhois, the helicopters carrying bombs, sarin, and chlor, chlorine. And the victims, uh, first time 20, second time around 30, 32, and the third time around 60 uh, Syrian civilians in Latamna in northern Syria. It is, uh, the, the report is uh, uh, balanced, as I said, it is objective. It just depended basically on clear evidence, interviews with people, videos, uh, material, uh, people who uh, were victims, uh, analysis, and quick collection of data from the scenes went through Turkey to uh, be given to an investigative committee that took close to a year or let's say nine months exactly to come up with this 82 page report indicting and uh, laying responsibility on a regime that used chemical weapons okay, before. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but I want to just interrupt you there because you say an 82 page report, this is so important, these findings, but right now the world has I don't want to say other priorities, um, but the world is in, in a terrible way. How can we ensure that uh, this is properly followed up and it isn't buried under what is happening right now? And what exactly can the international community do to make sure this gets the justice and follow up it deserves from the UN? My dear, this is, this is really what matters for Syrians who have been suffering for nine years by a regime that used chemical weapons several times. But for, this is the first time uh, uh, na it names the regime to be responsible for that. We understand that the world is now haunted by this coronavirus, but there is somebody out there who is doing this corona against Syrians deliberately. It is not a virus in, in the air or on, on spots uh, that is contagious, et cetera, et cetera. But there is somebody intentionally committing a crime. And it's quite clear and it's quite documented. The follow up on this particular thing for the Secretary General, as he uh, as he uh, said yesterday. Mr. Yahya al -Aridi, those... we have run out of time. I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut you off. Thank you so much. And that is the new.